In this lecture, we are going to set up the Unity editor to be able to use UI Toolkit for runtime purposes. Unfortunately, it's not very straightforward yet, because this API is still in a beta version, but I will guide you through the process step by step. Then I will show you a blueprint for the folder structure in the project, and finally, we will load the graphic resources that we will use later on. Let's start creating a project by downloading a proper version of Unity. The version that we'll be using is Unity 2020.1.0 beta 14. You can find a link to it in resources of this lecture. The easiest way to install Unity is by uh, choosing install with Unity Hub. You can install this Unity version without any additional components. Now after we've installed the proper version of Unity, let's create a new project. You can pick any name for a project, but uh, I would call it UI Toolkit Course. In order to use UI Toolkit in Unity, we have to first uh, download the UI Elements for Runtime package. To do it, let's first enable preview packages by going into Edit, Project Settings, Package Manager, and uh, select Enable Preview Packages. Now we can close this window and go to Package Manager. Now you probably won't notice the UI elements for runtime in the list because it's still in a beta version. So we have to add it manually by selecting Add Package from Git URL. And the address is com.unity.ui.runtime. Now the package will load. Now, even though the newest version of UI elements for runtime package is 0.0.4, for the purpose of this course, we will use the previous version, 0.3. We can change the version by selecting it in the list and clicking update to that version. We also have to download the UI builder. For the purpose of this course, let's download the 1.0.0 preview 1 version. Now everything is ready and we can move on to creating a folder structure in the project so that we can easily navigate through it later on. Let's create a few folders called graphics. Scripts. And UI. Now, after we created all the necessary folders, we can import the graphic files that will be used later on. These files are attached to this course together with that lecture. After you download the zip file, you can uh, unpack it and copy all the files to the graphics folder. Now we also have to change the settings of two graphic files that we've just imported. Now we'll start with a texture type of the logo image. We change it to sprite and then we also enable uh, MIP maps so that the quality can be consistent throughout different resolutions. We can increase the ANSI level to 8. Now after that we can also change the maximum size of the sprite 
and finally we can apply the settings. Now we gotta do the same for the background. We also set the texture type to sprite, we enable mid maps, and finally we apply all the settings. Now the font file can remain just with default import settings. To sum up this lecture, you have learned how to set up the Unity editor to be able to use UI Toolkit for runtime purposes. Then we created the folder structure in the project for all the future files and finally we loaded the graphic resources that we will use later on.